Hey guys, how are you? I have a middle part today. I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. This is literally my first time like ever wearing my hair in a middle part. I'm a side part girly, especially since I have curly hair. But I kind of like curled these pieces with the curling iron in the front today and I thought I would try it. What do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe. I'm not sure about it. Um, but I also have a Lavender and Speckles haul. So I've seen everybody on YouTube ordering from Lavender and Speckles. Um, I saw a ton of hauls and I saw on Instagram one day that she was opening for customs. Somebody, I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. If it was you, thank you though. Because somebody posted that they had placed a custom order with her and I went in and she had like on her website where you could put in for customs. So I put my name in and this is my custom order. My first order ever and it's customs. So I was like a little bit unsure. I don't normally like to spend a whole lot of money the first time I order from a vendor just because I don't know if it's going to work for me or not. Um, but I also like wanted to get the most out of my custom set. So I have like a medium-ish size order. I think I got 10 cents and I got this small bag. She has larger bags. I don't really know what those look like. Um, I assume they're like twice the size of these. And then she has these small bags, which are like six shapes. And then they're super cute. Um, I like the labeling of them. They also, you can add her Facebook, Instagram maybe. Um, but check out her Facebook group because I think she shares a lot of stuff in there. I'm really excited about this. She sent me one sample. It is Palo Santo. And I've heard really good things about her Palo Santo, so I was really happy just to smell it. And I love this. I would get more Palo Santo blends from her. I kind of get burnt out on Palo blends, but this is a good one. It is different than any other Palo Santo I've ever smelled. It's like wood, more woodsy and uh, more woodsy and like masculine. It almost smells like a tobacco leaf type of scent. Um, it's really, really good. I like it a lot. So I am excited to have a sample of that. Um, I've only melted one piece of one of these last night. I think I'm supposed to let it cure. It came with a little like um, card. It didn't say anything. I don't think on there about curing, but it gave like um, instructions, like try 20 watt warmer, some different things on there. So, but I did melt one of them last night. You'll see when I show it in my bedroom and it threw really well. So I was happy with that. Um, this is, I guess I'll just get into them. Lilac and Lavender Clouds is the first one I got. This one is Sweet Lavender, Fresh Lilacs, and Marshmallow Clouds, like Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. And the little shapes, they're like all different. This one's a flower, but there's like bells and flowers and hearts and just a lot of cute little shapes. Kind of remind me of cell phone shapes. So this is definitely Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I smell Boardwalk Mallow Clouds first. And then I get Lilac. I don't necessarily get Lavender, but it's really pretty. It almost reminds me of um, Pink Lilac and Vanilla from Bath and Body Works. It's like a really sweet vanilla floral. Slightly floral, definitely more vanilla and more sweet than it is like a fresh floral. Um, but I really like that. That'll be really nice for springtime and it is just kind of like a fresh sweet girly type of scent so I think it would be good anytime too. The next one I got here is bed and breakfast linens and this one is fresh strong laundry blended with cactus musk sea salt sage and mint. I can't talk today. This is so good. This is so 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 fresh. It says fresh, strong laundry. Like I get a laundry, but it is more fresh than it is like fresh air than laundry, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get like, I guess that cactus, like aquatic. It's not really musky. Like a super fresh aquatic scent. And then I do get a hint of mint. I think the mint just like freshens it up even more. It definitely smells like a fancy like bed and breakfast like clean white sheets very very clean really nice I feel like that one will be a strong one as well so I'm excited to melt that um 
This one I got because of Ashley Overly here on YouTube. If you guys watch Ashley, if you don't, you should go check her out. I watch her videos sometimes. Um, and she's just super cute. And she recommended this one and she got it in her haul and I just wanted to try it. It's called Mountain Espresso. I'm normally not like a super coffee fan, but this sounded right up my alley because it seemed like it would be really masculine too. A unique blend of citrus, cinnamon, blue sage, amber, tonka, cedarwood, and espresso. Little heart. This one definitely is like a black espresso coffee type of scent. And it's really strong on the coffee, like coffee first, but then it's woodsy as well. It's kind of like if you were like brewing coffee, but you were like, I got a trip to the mountains in a cabin. There is like a little bit of like woodsiness and outdoorsiness, but it's mainly like a black coffee. That is nice as far as coffee scents go. I definitely do like this one. I'll definitely melt it. I might wait until like the fall or um, winter for this one, but... Or if I'm just in the mood for a coffee scent, because sometimes I do feel like I want to smell a coffee scent. This is probably the one I was most excited about, and it's really nothing special, I'm not sure. Well, it is. It's very special, and it smells very nice. But, like, the scent combination is nothing, like, um, super unique that I couldn't, I guess, get from someone else. Anyway, this one's Blue Sugar Boom Boom and Laundry. And this one is Blue Sugar and Bum Bum Boom Boom um, blended with Downy Blue type. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good. And it is really good. It's one of my favorites. I get laundry first, like, love me a good laundry scent. Um, so I love that. I get a little bit of blue sugar and then the laundry is like sweetened and softened by that Boom Boom cream. Again, a great bedroom scent. Any like cologne-y, perfume -y laundry scent I love in the bedroom. I actually love all over my house. I'm hugely into um, laundry scents right now, as you can tell. So this one's really nice. I love me some blue sugar. And Downy Blue is probably my, one of my favorite, um, laundry scents. This one, Peony and Whipped Coconut Cake. So when I signed up for custom, she, um, I don't know if she sent me a scent list or if I went to her website, I can't remember. It was about six weeks ago that I ordered these. It was the same time she was doing a pre-order and then I think she shipped the pre-order and the customs out at the same time. But people that were ordering from the pre-order could only order off her scent list and people that were ordering customs could order any scent. You could also, I think, make your own scent. I just chose, as um, I normally do, scents off of her list because um, I just wanted to try some of her blends and see how she blended things and kind of see if I liked those. And there were like several things, as you can tell. Sorry, I'm got to readjust here. Um, there were several things that I was interested in. So I just chose off her list, but you can make some match customs with her. Like I said, it took about six weeks. I don't know how often she does customs. I don't know how like long the list is. I don't know. I assume it's not open all the time because um, I think that it did close. But again, check out her Facebook and you can probably find out more about that. Um, so this one I saw on her list, Peony and Whipped Coconut Cake. This one is a unique bend of peony and it says think body care in parentheses. I don't know if it's a Bath and Body Works peony dupe or not. Fluffy cake and sweet coconut frosting. So this sounded really good and like feminine and pretty to me. And this one smells different than I thought it would. It's more, I thought it was going to be like a coconutty, super sweet, slightly florally like spring type of scent, which it is, but it's greener than I expected. Like, it's like a peony with a stem. I don't get hold of the cake. I do get like a hint of coconut, but again, it's just kind of like a more outdoorsy green type of scent. It's nice. It's really a little bit soft. It's probably the hardest one to smell out of all of these. Um, so I will let that one sit for just a little bit and see. I'm hoping it'll get a little bit stronger or when I melt it, it'll be a little bit stronger. But I do like the scent. It's just, if you don't like like a green outdoorsy type of scent, that one is a little bit more like green and um, like a grass or like a floral stem. Okay, this one was my favorite one from the order and it's Pretty in Pink Sugar. This one is Luna type blended with pink sugar and vanilla cake and it says so pretty and it really is. This is like the epitome of 
like a beautiful girly spring scent. Oh, it's so good. I get a lot of the cake. This is like kind of, it's, it's, I get all of those things. Like I get, I'm like talking over myself. I get cake first, but I also get pink sugar and Luna. Like I can distinguish those things. But mixed all together, it's like gives off like a pink petal tea cake or like a lavender cake, like a floral cake type of vibe. But it's definitely bakery first. Like if I had to put this in like a um, category, it's bakery, but it's like definitely a white cake. And the floral, I would love this in body care. So pretty. It's like the perfect bedroom set. Just absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend this one. I hope if she offers this one again in like a pre-order, I probably would get more of that because that's absolutely beautiful. This is the one I melted last night. This one is raspberry jam and beachy coconut. If you can't tell, I was trying to get like spring and summery type of scents. This one's raspberry jam, boom, boom type again, and pink coconuts. But I think pink coconuts is pink sugar mixed with coconut. I melted this. This was a very strong throw. It was like a nine out of 10 in my bedroom. I melted just one. I have five left. So I melted just one of these in a tea light warmer and it was good. This is nice. I get raspberry jam first. It smells, I've had a lot. I really like like a raspberry cake scent or like a raspberry coconut cake scent. I've had several of those, but I like this one better because this one is slightly less bakery and slightly more body hair. Yeah, I get raspberry jam first. It's a nice like seedy, slightly tart, sweet raspberry jam. And then I just get like a creamy vanilla coconut scent with it. It's really good. It'll be nice for spring and summer. And like I said, it threw phenomenally well when I melted it last night. So I'm excited to have that one. Um, the next one here. Oh, let's do this one. Sorry. This one is Charming Small Town. She has or had, I'm not sure, a Gilmore Girls collection. And I know she had to rename some of them. So this one was part of the Gilmore Girls um, collection. And I think... Bed and breakfast linens. This one used to be like Carl Stars Hollow Inn, maybe Dragonfly Inn. Um, and then this one, Charming Small Town. Hold on. Sorry. Charming Small Town used to be called Stars Hollow, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this one is vanilla, sugar cane, cypress, rosemary, sweet mint, and dark teak wood blended with Palo Santo. And I got this because when I read those notes, I thought, okay, this has to be the same thing as um, Teddy Bee's. Winter Farmhouse. It's like a single oil. Teddy Bees uses it and Rose Girls uses it. I think the Rose Girls scent is called Snow Day. Snow something. But it's Winter Farmhouse from Teddy Bees. Yeah, and it has to be a single oil because I've had so many places use this. And it is so good. <laughs> it's good from anybody. It's so nice. I get a lot of rosemary. It's definitely like an herbal earthy scent first. I get a lot of like rosemary antique, but it's slightly masculine, just a tad sweet, and then a little bit minty. I don't even know how to describe this. It's definitely a little bit floral as well. If you were like in an old house with like wooden floors, and I think it smells like tree-like to me as well. So definitely just like almost like a winter floral if that makes sense it's like very fresh and kind of like a white floral with a tree note to it and then a little bit masculine um super nice but if you've smelled those other scents you know what I'm talking about because it smells just like those very happy to have that I don't have any of the other two scents that I was talking about I've melted through all of this so I'm really happy to have that I think it's a single oil but I'm really happy to have it again okay um antique shop this sounded really good. Old books, warm vanilla sugar, pink sugar, and a hint of marshmallow fireside. I like that old books. I like the new books. Um, I feel like there's two different oils. There's like old books that some people use and it's like a dusty type of um, scent, like a dusty, dirty um, vintage vibe. And then there's like new books, which smells like, or just books, 
like L3's books. This smells like magazines to me. It's like a really like glossy, fresh paper type of scent. And this one is the more dusty one. This is sweet, sweeter than I thought, but you still get that kind of like papery, like dusty book scent with it. And then the marshmallow fireside kind of amps that up and makes it like a little bit more vintage feeling. Yeah, this is nice. Um, definitely like sweet first and then, like I said, kind of like a little bit woodsy or like dusty um, type of scent. That sounds like it would be really gross, but it's really not. It really does smell like almost like a library. Um, like if you were like wearing like a really nice perfume and you went into a library full of old books or I guess an antique shop. Pretty. And that lastly is cleaning day. This one is says your house will smell clean. Fresh lemons, Palo Santo, and the smell of clean laundry. I thought this would be a laundry, like a primarily laundry to this scent, but I think it's primarily like a lemon scent to me. Yeah, it's super lemony. But I do get, I get a lot of laundry as well. It's pretty much 50-50 laundry and lemons. I don't really get a lot of Palo, but I'm okay with that. Kind of smells... Um, this is going to sound maybe like a bad thing to you, but this is a great thing to me because I love the scent. It smells like if you were cleaning your house with like lemon Lysol, you guys all know the classic lemon Lysol and like doing laundry. Like it's a very much like clean house. You've been cleaning all day type of scent. Like I said, I don't get a lot of Palo in it, um, but maybe when it melts a little bit more, it'll come out because her Palo did seem pretty strong. So, and that's it. That's all I got from Lavender and Speckles. Um, I'm really excited super happy to have this order and I um will probably order from her again like I said I'll give this a little bit of time to kind of cure and then try it out um and then we'll see what happens if I like it if everything throws as much as the one thing I melted then I probably will order again from them so if you guys are wondering about ordering or like on the fence I would recommend because everything smells really good really nicely blended um really nice oils everything is good so all right, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon, bye.